basic care and maintenance of your Karakor on a split board system. Similar to checking the batteries and function of your beacon before you go into the backcountry, it is also important to implement regular inspection and maintenance of your bindings and interface. Due to the dynamic nature of splitboarding, your bindings will experience significantly more mechanical stress and loading than a traditional solid board binding. It is extremely important to keep the side screws of your heel cup tight and to check them before each big tour. In order to keep things tight, we've applied patch lock to each screw during the assembly process. However, this patch lock can be worn off over time as you loosen and retighten your screws. If you end up loosening and tightening your screws more than a few times, adding a few drops of Loctite to the threads can go a long way to keeping them tight and to prolonging the life of your bindings. Similarly, with the high back and straps, we've used the same outer hardware along with a steel T-nut. These have also been patch locked during the assembly process and torqued to a specific setting. If you end up removing and reapplying these screws, remember to add a couple drops of Loctite to the threads. The tour mode axle of your toaste can go through many hundreds of thousands, if not several million gate cycles through its lifespan. We've designed this part to be as durable as possible with independent motion between the sleeve and the axle. Because of the high degree of repeated loading, it is possible for the axle to become loose after multiple days of use. It can be re-threaded in the field from the threaded side of the toaste, however we recommend popping out the spring pin, backing the axle out and reapplying Loctite to the threaded side of your toaste. In order to remove your tour mode axle, you're first going to need to tap out your spring pin. The spring pin was designed into the toaste to prevent the axle from backing out and getting lost in the backcountry. You're going to need a nail and some pliers, and with a hammer, position the nail on top of the spring pin with your binding on a flat, rigid surface, and tap until the spring pin is pushed all the way through. You can now use a flathead screwdriver to gain access to the axle. And when you have your axle completely unthreaded, you can pull it part way out by hand. Make sure not to lose any of your spacers or stainless sleeves. Now, Take a small amount of Loctite and just put a couple drops into the threads of your toaste. Reassembling your axle. Spacer, sleeve, and then spacer. and then screw it back together. When you start feeling it tight, give it about an eighth of a turn past the first hard point. Now you need to reinstall your spring pin. As I mentioned, the spring pin is a fail-safe so that you don't lose your axle in the backcountry. Take your pliers holding the spring pin one tap gets it started, and just gently tapping it in with your hammer. And now you're good to go. The maintenance you will have to do to your heel stay should be relatively minimal. Perhaps once per season, apply a small amount of marine grease to your seam pin, your two side pins, as well as the length of your lever. This will ensure that your heel stay continues to run smoothly. The maintenance you will need to perform to your splitboard interface will also be relatively minimal, the extent of which will not be more than reapplying Loctite to the threads of your interface hardware. Screwing these down, I screw it down to the first hard point. From here, I give it one eighth of a turn past. 
and this will ensure that everything stays tight. 